Earlier this month, the Federal Drug Administration approved a new drug to treat Alzheimer's disease. That's fitting because June is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Aducanumab is the first new treatment for Alzheimer's disease in nearly 20 years. The difference between this drug and what's currently on the market is this one focuses on slowing down the progression of the disease. It removes sticky deposits of a protein called amyloid beta from the brain. Administered monthly by IV, it is approved for patients with early stage Alzheimer's. For one Sioux City woman personally impacted by Alzheimer's, this drug provides hope of more research, treatment, and hopefully a cure. Her husband has battled the disease for seven years. KTAB's Claire Bradshaw reports that though this drug is too late for her husband, it isn't for millions of others. When our son happened to ask me, Mom, why does Dad keep asking me if I have to go to work today? That wasn't Pat Boggs's first sign her husband Mike was suffering with dementia. Pat says Mike was forgetful, dealing with confusion, motor skill issues, but she didn't think anything of it. But they were so minor, I didn't put them all together until about January of 2014. I kept a log of Mike's behaviors, and that I think helped the diagnosis for seven years, Pat has been loving her husband through thick and thin. This is a disease that not only affects the individual, it affects the family members. The journey has been very circular. We kind of get started with the diagnosis and we stop and we go somewhere else for another diagnosis. Now a new drug for Alzheimer's and dementia is providing Pat, who is also an advocate for the Alzheimer's Association, with hope of more to come. So this is probably going to be just a stepping stone to something else that will be even more exciting. Acacia Diedrich with the Alzheimer's Association says Azucanumab will provide more time with loved ones for early onset Alzheimer's. Longer time that you're going to be able to live independently or function in a way that you're used to functioning. It really just lengthens the amount of time that you have to live your life. More than 6 million Americans live with Alzheimer's. It kills more people than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined, which is why both Diedrich and Pat agree there needs to be more research. It requires a lot of research and requires a lot of funding. And even once they have something that they are excited about, then it has to go through a clinical trial. And all of that can just take a lot of time. But for Pat and Mike, she says this drug comes as she is running out of time. At this point, I don't think that's a conversation we'll have uh, just simply because Mike is further along in his journey of dementia. Um, Mike is safe and he's being well cared for at a local assisted living facility. Pat says that doesn't mean it isn't too late for someone else's loved one. Claire Bradshaw, KTIV News 4. There is some controversy among doctors about aducanumab. Some say there isn't enough evidence it works. If you or a loved one is affected by the disease, you can ask your doctor if aducanumab is a possible treatment. The drug is expensive. Purchased wholesale, it costs more than $4,300 per infusion. But its maker, Biogen, says on its website, we estimate that 40% of patients will have an out-of-pocket exposure of about $200 or less per year.